Hello, Sir Survivor here, and today we're going to look at the most powerful nuclear explosions that have taken place on the face of the Earth. These tests were conducted by the United States and by Russia, and I've broken the video down into two sections. The first section would detail the explosions by the United States, and the second section would detail the explosions by the Soviet Union. And looking at the massive yields of these explosions, it's not surprising that the levels of radioactivity have increased worldwide at an alarming rate since these tests have taken place. But the video is for informational purposes, and let's check out these explosions. First, we'll start with the United States. On November 1st, 1952, the United States detonated the world's first thermonuclear weapon, and this weapon was designated Ivy Mike. With an explosive yield of approximately 10.4 megatons, this device was tested in the Pacific Ocean. This device was powerful enough that the blast was actually detected over 5,000 miles away. But due to this type of testing in the Pacific, this resulted in a tremendous amount of radioactive fallout on the native islands around that area, causing extensive and long-term damage. Castle Romeo. This was the first test of the TX-17 nuclear weapon. This was also a weaponized dry fusion bomb which exceeded initial expectations. This was the first nuclear test ever conducted on a barge, which became necessary as the natural reefs in the general area were being destroyed by the nuclear testing. Exceeding the initial expectations, it produced a blast of 11 megatons, which made it the third largest nuclear test by the United States. On May 5, 1954, codename Castle Yankee was detonated at Bikini Atoll once again. This device used partially enriched lithium fuel for the fusion stage and produced an explosive yield of 13 megatons. Codename Castle Bravo, the United States' first test of a cold, dry fusion hydrogen bomb took place on March 1, 1954, detonated at Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands with a yield of 15 megatons of TNT. Castle Bravo remains the most powerful nuclear device ever tested by the United States. The explosion was far greater than the expected yield of four megatons of TNT up to eight megatons, and the environmental conditions when the test was conducted produced a great amount of radioactive fallout in the immediate area, causing extensive and long-lasting damage. Next, let's look at some of the Soviet Union's most powerful blasts, including the most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated on the face of the Earth, Test number 123 took place in the Soviet Union near the Western Arctic, and it took place on October 3rd, 1961. This yielded a massive 12.5 megaton explosion. Test number 147, conducted by the Soviet Union, was an airdrop test that was detonated at approximately 11,800 feet above sea level, and this test yielded a massive 21.1 megatons. On September 21st and September 22nd of 1962, there were two back-to-back -back tests, test number 173 and 174, and these were both airburst tests at approximately 13,000 feet above sea level, yielding 19.1 megatons and 20 megatons respectively. The second largest test ever conducted took place on Christmas Eve 1962 by the Soviet Union. It was a thermonuclear fusion bomb, but it was delivered via ICBM or Intercontinental Ballistic Missile with an explosive yield of 24.2 megatons with a massive blast radius of approximately six miles or greater. This was test number 219 and it was one of the last conducted by the Soviet Union. The Tsar Bomba was detonated at 11.32 Moscow time on October 30, 1961 over the Soviet Union nuclear testing range north of the Arctic Circle in the Arctic Ocean. 
The bomb was dropped from an altitude of approximately 10.5 kilometers or six and a half miles, and it was designed to detonate at a height of four kilometers over the land surface. The bomb weighed 27 metric tons, and it was so large that the plane that flew it had to have its bomb bay doors and fuselage fuel tanks removed. The bomb was then attached to an 800 kilogram parachute, and this gave the release and observer planes time to fly only about 45 kilometers away from ground zero when the detonation occurs, and this gave them a 50% chance of survival. When the detonation did occur, the planes dropped over one kilometer in the air because of the shockwave, but they were all able to land and recover safely. This was by far the largest nuclear test that has ever taken place on the face of the Earth, Although the Soviet Union originally designed this bomb to be a three-stage fusion device, it was reduced to a one stage with the two second stages being a lead core as opposed to a nuclear as opposed to a uranium core. So this dropped the overall yield from 100 megatons to approximately 51 megatons. Well, that's it for some of the world's largest nuclear explosions. There were many other tests conducted by many other countries. Uh, this was some of the largest that we've seen, though, and we know about. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, check out the channel for many more videos. And for now, Sears Survivor, out.